As businesses are using cloud technologies to transform at a rapid pace, many recognize that their organizations need cloud expertise in order to achieve their goals. Professionals with cloud architecture expertise in how to best plan, design, develop, migrate, and operate applications in the cloud are in high demand. Hi guys, this is Kafia from Edureka and welcome to this video on how to become an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. At first, let's have a look at the agenda. We'll start with why you should become an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, followed by who is a Cloud Practitioner. We'll then have a quick look at the Cloud Practitioner skills along with real job descriptions. And finally, we will address the learning path how to become an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. But before we get started, Make sure you subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description. With that, let's get started with why you should become an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. First and foremost, you may consider the fact that you become eligible for numerous jobs from Junior Cloud Architect to Associate Cloud Engineer with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. And from that perspective of job openings, in India, for people with AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification, we have more than 12,470 vacant jobs and in the US, even higher than 15,200 jobs. If we consider the tech hubs in these countries, Bangalore alone has 400 plus jobs and California has more than 1,000 vacant jobs. This data is based on an analysis conducted using Indeed and Glassdoor. One factor that may interest you to become a cloud practitioner is the pay. In India, a fresher is paid about 11,200 rupees per year, and in the US, the pay is about $110,000 annually. This again is based on an analysis using Glassdoor. So you know, this is the average for entry-level jobs. With increasing experience, the salary shall increase even higher. With the right skills, you may get the opportunity to work in top-notch companies such as JP Morgan, Accenture, Deloitte, IBM, Tech Mahindra, etc. So wait no longer to get started in this lucrative career. Next, let's see who exactly is an AWS Cloud Practitioner. In the simplest term, a Cloud Practitioner is someone who has cleared the exam for the certification of AWS Cloud Practitioner. So, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is a certification for individuals who want to build a basic understanding on the AWS Cloud. Organizations are hiring cloud practitioners for designing, planning, managing, maintaining, and supporting the cloud infrastructure. Now let's understand the roles and responsibilities of a cloud practitioner. It includes supervising the architecture and deployment of applications using AWS platforms, developing plans for the adoption of cloud solutions, as well as management and monitoring of cloud platforms, Designing and building applications on the cloud for which you might require knowledge of Java, Python, and JavaScript, including bash scripting. Execute Unix commands and perform containerization using Docker. Working in the AWS environment using tools such as Ansible, Chef, Docker, Jenkins, among others for application building and deployment. And handling complex project management using tools like Jira. Now let's look into the skills required by a cloud practitioner. For that, let's have a look at a job description to get the real skills that are looked for. In this JD posted by Tech Mahindra, for a cloud architect, we can see that the roles and responsibilities include handling AWS accounts, knowledge of the cloud platform, designing and implementing the public cloud, DevOps tools and serverless applications. But why stick to just one job? Let's look at a few more. This job description was posted by Herman Company. They require you to have a degree and they require you to be certified in AWS. The skills you may require are designing, developing and managing AWS environment, AWS-based cloud infrastructure, cloud components and cloud technologies. Similarly, in the job description for cloud support practitioner as posted by Accenture, we see manage the cloud infrastructure, knowledge of automation solutions, Expertise in IaaS and PaaS services, SME level expertise in AWS and operating systems such as Linux. To sum it up through all the many job descriptions, we see that the skills required by a cloud practitioner includes 
knowledge of cloud infrastructure using AWS, operating systems such as Linux, virtualization using Docker, programming languages such as Python and Java, storage and networking, database concepts in MySQL or PLSQL, testing and automation tools such as Selenium, strategic planning and DevOps tools such as Git, Jenkins or Gradle. With the skills in mind, let's now understand the learning path to become an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Just like any other career path, to become a Cloud Practitioner, you need to follow a certain roadmap. Start off by getting a degree, though it's not necessary, but it's preferred to have graduated in computer science. Next, on the desired skills. As we just talked about the skills required, go and learn them now. If you are looking for free resources, check out Edureka's YouTube channel that provides in-depth video lectures for you to understand. If you are more of a reader, you can also check out the blogs by Edureka where many are devoted to AWS alone. Next, go ahead and get some hands-on experience on AWS. Also, to combine all these steps and get into a well-defined learning path with hands-on activities, you may get certified in AWS. Check out the AWS Solutions Architect Certification Training course by Edureka, which covers all the required skills for AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and more. It is specifically defined for working professionals to take up the classes on weekends. There is 24-7 support from Edureka, and the instructors have 10 plus years of experience in working as digital marketers themselves. Luckily for you, there are no prerequisites to take up this course. Everything is taught from scratch. And also, you have lifetime access to the lectures to come back and revisit the course even after you finish. So go ahead and start your journey to become a cloud practitioner today. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning! I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!